Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have our Mox Pearl patron Peter from Wizards of the Coast, Potting Kirik, son of Yogmoth. This deck uses its commander to cheat mana costs and tries to assemble its win as quickly as possible. Peter's opening hand contains a Swamp, Buried Alive, Crystal Bane, Opposition Agent, Jeweled Lotus, and his London Mulligans are a Swamp and a Culling the Weak. Next, we have Cal, pounding the partner pair of Malcolm Kenai Navigator and Tana the Bloodsower. This deck, called Teamer Pirates, tries to win with the combat combo of Malcolm and Glinthorn Buccaneer. Cal's opening hand contains a Steam Vents, Noxious Revival, Veil of Summer, an offer you can't refuse, Ragavan Nimble Pilferer, Spellskite, and a Windswept Teeth. After that we have our Mox Pearl patron Sean, piloting the partner pair of Dargo the Shipwrecker and Thrasios Triton Hero. This deck seeks to use Dargo to create infinite mana and then draw into a win using Thrasios. Sean's opening hand contains a Mox Amber, Eldritch Evolution, Invasion of Ikoria, Tidespout Tyrant, Soul Ring, Taiga, and a Mana Confluence. Finally we have Alex, pounding Kinnon Bonder Prodigy. This deck, called Kinnon Midrange, seeks to create an abundance of mana and then use Kinnon's ability to put game-changing creatures onto the battlefield. Alex's opening hand contains a Waterlogged Grove, Glenelandra Archmage, Windswept Teeth, Mox Amber, Daze, Find Horn Elves, and an Ancient Tomb. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below about your favorite part of the game. Also, follow us on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and check us out on TikTok and Instagram. Without further ado, let's kick off this feisty fictional felt fiasco. Peter had the coolest sleeves at the table, so he gets to start us off. Peter draws a card for turn and plays a Swamp. He casts a Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices it and pays 6 life to help cast his commander, Kirik, son of Yogmoth. Off to a good start, he ships the turn to Cal. Cal draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying 2 life. He casts Ragavan, Nimble Pilferer. He passes the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays a Taiga. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Mox Amber. He gives the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a tropical island onto the battlefield. He casts a Fine Horn Elves. He casts Mox Amber. He passes the turn. Peter draws and plays a Crystal Vein. He pays two life to help cast Buried Alive. Kirk triggers and, in response, Alex casts Daze for his alternate cost, bouncing his tropical island, countering Buried Alive. Then Kirk gets a plus one plus one counter and Peter moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Kirk. Alex takes the hit, Peter gains three, and ends his turn. Cal draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts his commander, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Navigator. He moves to combat and attacks Peter with Ragavan. Peter takes it, and Ragavan and Malcolm trigger. Cal creates a treasure through Malcolm, then another through Ragavan, and then Peter exiles Chain of Smog. With one combo piece removed, Cal passes the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Eldritch Evolution. He casts his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He casts Invasion of Ikoria, where X equals 2, targeting Peter. Invasion of Ikoria enters, and Sean fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. Dockside enters, and in response, Cal sacks his two treasures. Then Sean creates two of his own. He sacrifices his treasures and his Chrome Mox as an additional cost to help cast his commander, Dargo the Shipwrecker. All through, he ships the turn. 
Alex draws and plays a tropical island. He casts his commander, Ken and Bonder Prodigy, and then passes the turn. Peter draws, plays a swamp, and gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Peter with Malcolm and Alex with Ragavan. They both take the damage and Ragavan and Malcolm trigger. Cal creates two treasures through Malcolm, then another through Ragavan, and then Alex exiles Basalt Monolith. Cal lets out a series of hoots with another combo piece removed and he moves to a second main phase. He casts a spell skite. He passes the turn to Sean. Sean draws and plays a command tower. He moves to combat and attacks Peter with Dargo. Peter takes the hit and Sean ships the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays an ancient tomb. He taps it to help cast Rhystic Study. He casts Glenelinger Archmage. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Pact of Negation into his hand. Glenelinger resolves and Alex passes the turn. Peter draws and plays a Swamp. He casts a Lotus Petal, paying the Rhystic Tax. He gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Peter with Malcolm and Alex with Ragavan. Alex blocks Ragavan with Glenelindra. Peter takes the hit, Glenelindra and Ragavan trade, then Malcolm and Glenelindra trigger. Alex returns Glenelindra to the battlefield through Persist and Cal creates a treasure through Malcolm. Cal, having nothing better to do, thinks about casting Tana, eh, but decides to pass the turn. Sean draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He moves to combat and attacks Peter with Dargo. In response, Peter casts Saw in Half, targeting Dargo, and Alex draws through Rhystic. Kirk triggers and gets a 1-1 counter. Then Saw in Half resolves, destroying Dargo, and Sean creates two miniaturized Dargo tokens, sacking one to the legendary rule. All through, Sean ships this wreck to Alex. Alex draws, plays an island, and passes the turn to Peter. Peter draws, takes no actions, and gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and moves to combat. He attacks Peter with Malcolm. Peter takes the hit, Cal creates a treasure through Malcolm, and then he passes his turn. At the end of Cal's turn, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a City of Brass onto the battlefield tapped. Sean draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. With nothing else, he ends his turn. At the end of Sean's turn, Alex taps his Ancient Tomb to help activate Kennen. He looks at the top five, but fails to find. Alex draws and plays a Waterlogged Grove. He casts a Lotus Petal. He activates Kennen, looks at the top five, and puts Phantasmal Image onto the battlefield. Phantasmal Image enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. Dockside triggers and in response, Peter sacrifices his Lotus Petal and Cal sacrifices his five treasures. Then Alex creates four treasures through Dockside. Alex casts Wandering Archaic. In response, Peter casts Vampiric Tutor, paying the Rhystic Tax. Kirk triggers and gains a counter. In response, Sean activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Dispel into his hand. Sean then casts Dispel, countering Vampiric Tutor and Alex draws through Rhystic. With Archaic still in the stack, Sean puts on his Table Police badge and casts Pact of Negation, targeting Wandering Archaic. Rhystic triggers and Alex draws. In response, Alex taps Waterlog Grove to help cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing Grove as an additional cost, fetching up a Gaius Cradle onto the battlefield. Then Pact resolves, countering Wandering Archaic. Alex activates Kinnon, looks at the top five, and puts a Consecrated Sphinx onto the battlefield. Sitting pretty, he ships the turn. At the end of Alex's turn, Cal casts Veil of Summer, paying for Rhystic. Cal draws a card, then Alex draws two through Consecrated Sphinx, and then they move to Peter's turn. Peter draws and Alex draws two through Consecrated Sphinx. He does nothing else and gives the turn to Cal. Cal draws and Alex draws two through Sphinx. Cal moves to combat and attacks Sean with Malcolm. Sean takes it, Malcolm triggers, and Cal creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Cal casts Corridor Monitor, paying for Rhystic. In response, Peter sacrifices his Crystal Vein to hard cast Snuff Out, targeting Consecrated Sphinx, paying the Rhystic tax. Carrick triggers and gets a counter. Alex, not wanting to lose his Golden Goose, casts Fierce Guardianship for its alternate cost, targeting Snuff Out. In response, Sean taps his City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to help activate Thrasios, scrying one and revealing a Swan Song into his hand. Sphinx triggers and Alex draws two. In response to Fierce Guardianship, Cal casts Spell Pierce, targeting Fierce. Rhystic triggers and Alex draws. Then Spell Pierce counters Fierce, Snuff Out destroys Consecrated Sphinx, and Corridor Monitor resolves. Monitor enters and Cal untaps his Sol Ring. All through, Cal passes the turn to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean pays for his Pact of Negation. He draws and plays a Windswept Teeth. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a stomping ground onto the battlefield untapped, paying two life. He sacrifices his Dargo token, Thrasios, Mox Amber, and Sol Ring as an additional cost and recasts his commander, Dargo. Rhystic triggers and Alex draws. Sean casts Life's Legacy, sacrificing Dargo as an additional cost. Rhystic triggers and Alex draws again. In response, Alex sacrifices Glenelindra, countering Life's Legacy. Sean, not wanting Dargo's cost reduction to go to waste, again casts Dargo the Shipwrecker, and Alex draws through Rhystic. He gives the turn to Alex. During Alex's upkeep, Cal casts March of Swirling Mist where X equals 1, targeting Kennen, paying the Rhystic Tax. In response, Alex activates Kennen, looks at the top 5, and puts Ginger Taxis, Progress Tyrant, onto the battlefield. March resolves, and Kennen phases out. Alex draws for turn and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Mystic Remora. He casts Lawan, Cephalid Empress. Empress enters, bouncing Malcolm and Corridor Monitor back to Kyle's hand. Alex passes, discarding to hand size. 
Peter draws, takes no actions, and ships the turn. Cal draws and pays two life to cast Jetaxian Probe targeting Alex. Jinjitaxis, Ristic, and Mystic all trigger. Alex draws through Mystic and Ristic, then Jinjitaxis counters Jetaxian Probe. Cal, getting ready to be roasted in the comments, gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks the invasion of Ikoria with Dargo. He defeats it, the invasion is exiled, and then Sean casts the backside, Zalortha, Apex of Ikoria, paying for Ristic. He passes the turn to Alex. Before Alex is untapped, Kenan phases back in. During his upkeep, he pays for his Mystic Remora. He draws and plays Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx. He taps his Inked Tomb to help activate Nykthos, adding 7 blue. He casts Finale of Devastation, where X equals 10. Jinja attacks his triggers and creates a copy of Finale. In response, Sean casts Swan Song, targeting the original Finale of Devastation. Jinja Taxis, Ristic, and Mystic all trigger. Alex draws through Mystic, Sean pays for Ristic, and Jinja Taxis counters Swan Song. Sean then taps his City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to help hard cast Mind Break Trap, targeting both finales. Ristic and Mystic both trigger, and Alex draws. In response, Alex casts Delay, targeting Mind Break Trap. Cal, wanting to make up for his previous play, casts an Offer You Can't Refuse, targeting Delay, paying for Ristic. Mystic triggers and Alex draws. Alex refuses the offer and pays two life to cast Mental Misstep, targeting an offer you can't refuse. The table, out of answers, resigns to their fate. Misstep counters offer, delay counters and suspends Mind Break Trap with three time counters, then the first copy of Finale of Devastation resolves. Alex fetches up a Holebreaker Horror onto the battlefield. The original Finale resolves and he fetches up a Deadeye Navigator onto the battlefield. Deadeye enters and soul bonds with Phantasmal Image. Alex presents a loop of activating Phantasmal Image's new ability to exile it, return it to the battlefield as a Dockside Extortionist, create two treasures, then crack a treasure to create two mana through Kennen to again blink Phantasmal Image. He does this until he has infinite treasures. Alex then activates Kennen until he puts Thrasios Triton Hero onto the battlefield. He uses his infinite treasures to draw his deck. He casts Thassa's Oracle. Oracle enters, and Alex wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great Mox Pro game tonight. Congrats to Alex on his win. He continues to show how devastating a single Kinnon activation can be. He faced multiple setbacks, including bouncing a land and getting combo pieces removed throughout the game. But his card advantage and Kinnon flips were enough to carry him to victory. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Phantasmal Image. Only costing two mana, it is one of the best creature clone effects in the game. Alex was able to use it to great effect by copying his opponent's Dockside, then got around its downside with an ability that doesn't target. It was a game changer in tonight's match. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.